1994, another of Nixon's co-conspirators in the Watergate scandal named John Ehrlichman affirmed Nixon's racist agenda to, the, to journalist Dan Brown. Ehrlichman told Brown that the Nixon campaign in 1968 and the Nixon White House after that had two enemies, the anti-war left and black people. That's it. People that were anti-war and black people. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all get it? We knew we couldn't make it illegal to be either against the war or, or black. But by getting the public to associate the hippies with marijuana and the blacks with heroin. And then criminalizing both heavily. We could disrupt both of those communities. See it? Just divide and conquer. All it is is division. That's all it is. That's why I got to follow my spirit. I can't, I can't keep listening to the division. It's too much. And it's not natural. It's not natural. It's not natural. We could arrest their leaders, raid their homes, break up their meetings, and vilify them night after night after night on the news. Did we know we were lying about the drugs? Of course we did, said Ehrlich. Of course we did. Read those last three sentences again, okay? And, and you don't got to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. We could arrest their leaders, raid their homes, a la Breonna Taylor, break up their meetings, vilify them night after night after night after night after night after night. After night. After night, on the 6 o'clock, 12 o'clock, midnight, 4 o'clock news. And you ask me, again, do they, did they know they was lying? John Ehrlichman's answer was, of course we knew the hell we was lying. Of course. These bodies don't mean nothing to us. Ain't nothing but some niggers. Niggers. Colors. As the group of George Floyd in Minneapolis proves, we still have a long way to go. As the murder, I'm sorry, of the of, of, of George Floyd in Minneapolis proves, we still have a long way to go. Before we attain anything close to justice. In this country that we built called America. And our ancestors built. And that we keep uh, reaping the abuse of. Not the fruits of. The abuse of. But we can work toward it every day. And we can start working towards that liberation. By listening to Fred Hampton every chance you get. So young men, young women, make it a mantra. Listen to Fred Hampton. He was only 20 years old. He was only 20. Make it a point. Make it a point. Because the generation is counting on you. Y'all are the next movers and shakers. Be armed with knowledge. So you can go out and fight the good fight. Not the bad fight, but the good fight. And with that being said, with the spirit of Brother Fred Hampton, all power to the people. Power to the black man. All power to the red man. All power to the brown man. All power to the black man. Power to the people. Rest in peace, Brother Fred.
Rest in peace.